So recently on Dona SP, I reset all of my money and I set myself a goal to get to 5 million and thrive on Dona SP. And our story begins on day one. So first, let's RTP. There we go, we got another spawn over here. Alright, so let's get the essentials. Alright, I should probably get some food now. So. Mmm, delicious. Yo, we actually got an abandoned village here. That's actually pretty rare. But as you expect, there's no loot in these villages. There's nothing really useful in this area. So I'm gonna go RTP somewhere else. Alright, so I found a new place and I can just test out different money making. So let's see how much this pork chop sells. Yeah, 44 cents. Yeah, not the best. We're gonna have to find other money making methods. Ooh, over there, a forest. If you've watched any of my videos, then you know that trees are pretty OP in making money. So we're just gonna collect a little bit of wood. Alright, bet we got a stack of oak logs. Let's see how much people are selling this for. Yeah, so people are actually selling them for a decent amount. Alright, so I'm gonna sell mine for 9.99k. Let's see how long that sells. And while I'm waiting for that to sell, I'm gonna cut down a little bit more trees. There we go. I got more stacks of logs. And the logs I sold previously actually sold. I also bought an iron axe, so I got the logs more faster. Let's sell these on auction and see how much these sell. And while we wait for that, I'm gonna go to the caves and get some iron and some armor. Bro, oh my god, this is a ginormous cave. It's a whole lava lake over there, bro. Alright, we just gotta carefully dig down here. Okay, there's a gap over there. Can we try it? Let's do it. Oh my god. Bro, my heart skipped a beat there, bro. Oh my god. I thought I was gonna die. And while I was mining, all my logs sold on auction. We have 28k now, bro. That's actually insane. However, this is not gonna be enough at all. We got a lot of work to do. Alright, so for our next money-making method, we're gonna need to buy some shovels. Now, I know these are kind of expensive, but they're an investment. You gotta trust the process. So once we buy a couple of shovels, silk touch, all we need to do is just find a lush game. Yeah, I got a feeling this might take a long time. Two thousand years later. Oh, finally, oh my god, I found an azalea tree. Now we just gotta dig it down. Alright, now that we found the lush cave, we need to start digging. We mined a little bit of clay blocks and we got up to up to 23k. Which is actually not that long considering we kind of just got back to where we were before. But that's fine. As the video goes on. The money-making methods will be even crazier than before. So now that we've played for a bit, now we gotta start figuring out on what our base is gonna be. Alright, so first we need to gather some sugarcane, because we're, we're gonna need this later. And we also gotta find a good place to build our base too. Now that we found a good base location, let's dig down. Alright, we finished digging out the base. That went well over the 10 days. So what we have is a temporary sugarcane farm, and once we expand it more, we can use the sugarcane for auto sugarcane farms, which we're gonna make in the video. Now we just gotta grind the sugarcane, and while we're getting sugarcane, we're actually getting shards too. We can also use for money making methods later on that we'll also use. However, before we do that, I found a village with actual villagers inside it. That's actually kind of rare on the server, but this is actually really useful because we can trade with villagers to get enchanted books and make kits in Solomon Auction. So I grabbed the villagers with the boats, and then I dragged them all to this one area, and then I started working on the future villager base. And we have them all in this one area, and let's free them. Well, not for long, because they're gonna be put to work. So I got all the beds in the village and placed them all in this one area, so we can actually breed them. Oh my god, they're asleep already. Bro, wake up! I need to get rich in a video game. But until they wake up, I can just AFK at this sugarcane farm. And now that they've actually woken up, we can start giving them bread to breed. Yo, they're going crazy. Oh my god. And they made a baby. So I gave the village more food, looted a village for beds, and I waited for the baby to grow. However, if we want to get more villagers, I'm going to need more food, because I kind of ran out of food. So we're going to try to find some villagers and try to find some wheat. We just RTP'd in the wild, and now we just need to find... Preferably a plains or savannah village. This might take me a while. But bro, where is a village, bro? I feel like I've been searching forever. And I already ran out of food. Bro. So I got some more food and I RTP'd out in the wild. But I just couldn't find a village anywhere. Dude, guys, I didn't want to do this, but I'm going to have to use the last ditch effort. Begging in chat. Yeah, boo, boo. I didn't want to do this. Like I said, this is the last ditch effort. There we go. 
Uh, now we just gotta wait for someone to, to sell me a stack. Alright, I got someone to sell me bread for 4k. Yeah, I kinda scammed myself, but it's fine. However, I just wanna say real quick, if you're watching this video the first couple months of its release, you still have a chance to be subbed to me before I hit 10k subs. So if you wanna make my dream come true, then please subscribe. Anyways, back to the video. Now let's get all this food that I got to the villagers. Now we just gotta wait for them to make babies. All right, there we go. We got all the villagers. Now that all seven of the beds are filled, we gotta block them off and actually make the villager breeder. First, we need two good emerald making sources. So we'll need a Fletcher and a Mason and our first librarian. Once the other ones grow up, we'll add jobs for them. But for now, we just have these. Before letting all of them grow, I RTP'd out in the wild to find another lush cave. So after I found the lush cave, I started doing a little bit of digging. We can start trading with the villager. However, I had to get a new Fletcher because this guy was just not taking the job at all. It's taking way too long. So with the power of editing, boom, we got it. I don't know if that was a good transition or not. Let's hope it was. So now the next step is just to get enchanted book villagers. So we got an efficiency four villager, a sharpest villager, and if we can actually get it, a mending. So we can make a lot of money from this. Alright, but to actually make money from this, we're gonna need some cows for leather, a little bit of shirt can, and some wood. Now let's make some books, and let's also trade for some emeralds and books. Also, I just realized I need to combine the four books to make a five book. Now let's sell these on auction. While we're waiting for those to sell, let's AFK a little bit at the sugar cane farm. Alright, I just got back from a few minutes of AF King and most of my books sold. It's only a couple uh, Efficiency 5 books that I haven't sold, but otherwise, uh, selling Efficiency 5 books is a really good way to make money. Also, my Efficiency 4 villager has sells them for cheap, so we can get them pretty easily and make easy money from this. So let's grab more emeralds and get more Efficiency 5 books. So now we gotta get more sugarcane, more logs, and then after my axe broke, I went back to my home and then traded the sticks to the villagers. Then I went to get some clay and then treated that with the villagers as well. All right, now that we got some more books and emeralds, let's buy some more efficiency books and sell them on auction. The next day. All right, and after logging off for the night, we now have over 200k. That's actually really good. Honestly, selling enchanted books on auction is a really good starting money making method, especially when there's still so much villages that aren't even looted yet. However, before we do anything else, we're gonna need a little bit of food and a little bit more AFK. Cause I kind of spent all my sugar cane on the books, so yeah. After that, I mined all the shuriken, but then I realized something. The plan was to make a auto shuriken farm, but I kinda changed my mind. Why is this pillager attacking me? Alright, yeah, so like I said, the plan was to make a shuriken farm, but I just realized while these type of farms, like shuriken farms, can make a lot of money, they do require a lot of resources. It's gonna take us too much time, and it might take us a little bit of money too. I know it sounds like I'm kinda lazy, but we don't have that much time. Plus, there's definitely gonna be better money making methods. Ooh, I found a pretty good money making method. I think everyone knows auction flipping. I know I hate it on auction flipping, but we're gonna try it again. We should also try it on different things. Last time, I only did diamond armor. I Let's try a multitude of things. We're just gonna explore the auction a little. Let's see on the netherite section what people have to offer. But I don't know if there's anything worth buying. I'm just gonna kind of experiment with the auction. And I'll see if I can find something that is actually worth flipping. So I kept on exploring the netherite section until I found this cheap netherite helmet. And then I bought it and sold it for higher. And then I did the same thing for these boots too. And then we just AFK'd a bit. Alright, and I sold a little bit. I still got one more piece of netherite waiting to be sold on auction. Once that sells, we'll have 300k. However, auction flipping is gonna take way too long. We're gonna have to figure out another different money-making method. But I think I have an idea in mind on how we can make a lot of money really easily without spending barely any money. I don't know if you know this, but I have a raid farm that I use a lot for money. And on auction, people sell emerald blocks for 200 to 300k. And my raid farm got like a couple stacks of emeralds an hour. So we can make millions of dollars, barely any effort whatsoever. However, I cannot use my current raid farm because that's just cheating so we need to make another raid farm however if we want to actually build this we need to follow a couple steps first first we need to find a village locate a villager now we gotta transfer this villager that's gonna take a little bit of time and transfer this guy into the ocean now we just need a few more random things for the farm so just netherrack the building blocks some slides some kelp a 
bit of wood, and a few more random things. We now have all the materials, so let's start building. Alright, we finished the ray farm. We can now finally use it for money. But first, let's combine these two swords to make looting three. And now all we gotta do is just go to the nearest pillager outpost. And there we go. Now we just need one of these pillager captain guys. Bro, do these guys even spawn? Like, I swear, bro, I cannot find any. Yo, finally, bro. We got a pillager captain. And there we go. Bro, you have no idea how long that took me. I waited like 30 minutes for that. Alright, but now we can go to our raid farm. We can actually start using this farm now. Yo, the pillagers are spawning. You're getting so much XP from this. Right, now, one raid, we got 33 emeralds and 4 totems. And not bad at all. Alright, but the reason I chose this farm is because over here, you have a pillager bank. Stores pillagers. So I never need to go to a pillager outpost again. Alright, but none of these have a pillager banner, so... Alright, let's do a one hour AFK test to see how much money I can get. Alright, after an hour of AFKing at this farm, we have a lot of blocks of emeralds, totems. Actually, this isn't actually all the totems. I also put some totems in my under chest, just in case if I want to see PvP later on. But what we'll do now is take these emerald blocks and sell these for around 250k. And I'll also sell this half a stack of emeralds for 124k. Once those sell out, we'll actually be a millionaire for once. And what I can also do is take these totems, buy some shulkers, and put them in to make some totem shulkers. Take these totem shulkers and sell them for around 29k. Actually, I need to do one more raid because one of my totem shulkers is almost full, but I just need a little bit more totems. So let's just keep this raid real quick and put the totems in the shulker. See, there we go. After about a few minutes of waiting, we're almost at 1.10 million. So we have literally made a 1 million an hour farm with minimal effort and barely any materials. All right? If you guys want the tutorial of this farm, I'll link a tutorial in the description. Bro, I didn't even realize I had bad omen, but I went to my villager base and I started a raid. Oh my god, bro, that is so bad. So we can actually fight this. Let's put sharpness on our sword. Alright, so looks like we gotta fight this raid now. Let's just kill this one guy. And there we go. Also, my armor isn't the best, so yeah, we might die, but yeah, we, we just gotta hope for the best. And at least I got two totems, I guess. Alright, come on, raiders, come out and fight. Alright, where are these guys? Oh, there they are. Oh, there's vindicators here, too. Oh my god, these guys do so much damage, bro. Yo, 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 yo. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Eat, eat. Alright, let's fight these guys again. But it's mostly the vindicators. These pigs are annoying, too. Alright, second wave down. I think I had, like, Bad Omen 5, so this is probably gonna be, like, a lot of raids. Oh my god, there's a ravager. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. Alright, here's where I'm gonna do it. I know this is a kind of waste of money, but I'm gonna buy a couple protection books. And I'm gonna apply it to my armor. Let's dig back up to fight. This is actually the Ravage. Oh my god, this guy does so much knockback. I'm almost out of food, too. Bro, how am I supposed to hit this guy? This guy does so much knockback. Iron Golem, bro, help me. I'm gonna go. Yo, the Iron Golem killed him. Oh my god, I'm almost out of food. I need to buy some real quick. My durability is getting kind of low, so I'm gonna buy some mending books. Alright, and there we go. Alright, and let's go fight these guys. Alright, there we go. We're getting some durability back. Alright, let's get this witch. And that's the third raid done. Oh, there they are. So much witches, bro. Alright, we got these two left. Alright, fifth raid now. Oh my god, they got so much. Oh, I can barely hit them. Oh my god, oh my god. They're gonna pop my totem. Okay, we lost them. Alright, let's go back. Alright, we killed the rabbit. Okay, let's kill these guys now. Also on Donut, Vokers don't spawn Vexes, so that makes it less annoying. Alright, I think this is the 5th or 6th raid. I actually forgot. Yo, there they are. Keep spawning on this side. There we go, that's another raid done. Another wave, this time there's another Ravager. Alright, let's start creating this Ravager. Yo, what though? The Vokers, they still do that attack thing. Oh my god, we killed him. Bro, our, our legs are about to die. But we're gonna try to speedrun this. Alright, there's the last two. Bro, the witch gave me poison. At least that wave is done. Alright, let's speedrun the final wave. Yo, let's go. We completed it, bro. We got a stack of emeralds, a couple totems. But our armor's looking pretty rusty right now. And all of our stuff on auction sold. We have 1.21 mil right now. Also, I just realized I could've just mended my armor with bottles. Bro. Now we also got Hero of the Village 5. So we actually got a decent amount of trades. Alright, now let's buy a couple of efficiency, sharpness, and amending books. Now that we have at least 1 mil now, we can start using the ray farm even more. But I also want to use another money-making method. Since I have 1.6k, K shards right now. Why not spend them on spawners? So let's go to shop, shard shop. We can buy skeleton spawners. All right, we got three. All we gotta do now is just say selling skeleton spawners for 350k per. Not giving first. You always gotta say the not giving first. Otherwise, you're more likely to get scanned that way. Now all we gotta do is just wait for a response. All right, someone offered to buy them. So once they give us the money, then we give them the spawner. We just got an easy one mil from that. 
All right, before we start using the ray farm again, I want to try out one more money-making method. However, this one revolves around crystals. All right, let me buy myself a knockback one sword, and also some anchors, pickaxe too, and finally some golden apples. Now, these totems will come in handy, because now we got a whole inventory of totems. Oh, yeah, I just realized I need to upgrade my armor too. And now that I have mending and unbreaking through and everything, we should be all set now. Alright, but now it's time for us to go to the duels area. Alright, let's see who we get as a duel. Oh, I guess this guy has a 63% win rate. Oh, he's gonna do attack us. Bro! We lost already? Nah, this guy said easy. Nah, that's so bad, bro. There's no way I died that fast. Alright, this guy said he's gonna give us stuff, so hopefully we don't get scammed. Yo, hello? Is this guy gonna give me stuff? Yo, he's actually giving me stuff. Yo, W man. This guy actually gave me stuff, bro. Alright, but even though that guy gave us our stuff, I don't think I'm gonna use this method again. Yeah, I'm really bad at crystal. I thought I was way better. I literally warmed up for like two hours before this, but it looks like it didn't matter. Alright, yeah, so I think we're just gonna use the raid farm. Alright, let's do one more montage. Alright guys, we finally have got to 5 million. And although we have gotten to our goal, I still don't feel accomplished. Plus, we still have like 5 days left. All this time, I've just been grinding for money, and I've just done that for myself. But I kind of want to do something for the community as well. Alright, so here's what we're going to do for the last 5 days. I'm going to get a couple books, and I'm going to combine some armor pieces. So I use up all my levels. I don't want to lose all these levels if I die later on. Because what we're about to do next might kill us. Because what I'm going to do is rate my viewers base and do a couple FFAs. So I just accepted all TP here and then started raiding their base. Yo, this is really good, bro. This guy has three iron golem spawners, bro. W. You guys want a screeny? Of course we can have a screeny. Now it's time for the FFAs. Alright, we gotta tell everyone in chat to come to the RTP zone area. Alright, we got a decent amount of people here. Alright, it's NAE, so let's all go to a circle area now. Alright, we're about to be TP'd in three, two, one. Yo, why am I not being TP'd? Oh, there we go, we're gonna TP. Alright, looks like we're away now. They're actually going crazy. Yo, there's so much destruction. Alright, let's go, let's go. Oh, we're being caught. We gotta get out of here. Alright, we're gonna try to hide in them and crawl out. Alright, that guy's over there. Let's go and attack. Alright, let's aim them and crawl down. We gotta at least try and crystal. Nah, we died. Alright, that was kinda lame, so I'm gonna do one more. But this time, do TP autos. So let's go to this flat plains area and turn on TPA auto. Well, there's about to be a lot of people. There's so much TPs. Yup, I knew it. There's a lot of people right now. I'm lying so bad. How am I gonna get a kill? Oh no, we're getting attacked. Bro, I died already. Well, at least we tried. Well, even though we only lasted like five seconds of that, we still had a lot of fun. And that's really what matters, honestly. And seeing the progress, getting to 5 million, that was really fun. Well, anyway, that's it for the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.